Hello and welcome to this week's lecture which will provide an introduction to economics. My name is Mike Wenz and I will be guiding you through the lecture today. First we begin with the definition of economics which will define as the study of how we allocate scarce resources to satisfy unlimited wants. Uh, it's worth it to take a little bit of time to walk through this, this definition in some detail. Uh, first, we note that study, when we say study, we mean that economics is a science involving the formulation and testing of hypotheses to try and explain and make predictions of how the world works. What we're trying to do when we do economics is to do science, to observe, uh, to observe the world, uh, to make hypotheses about how we think the world works, and to, to use data to test those hypotheses to see if we can make some predictions that, that can influence, for instance, the way we make economic policy or the way we make decisions in a household. The next thing that's worth looking at is, is the word allocate. What do we mean by allocate? Essentially what we're doing is we're trying to decide who produces things in society and who consumes them. So we have to allocate the factors of production somehow and we have to allocate the consumption of the goods and services that we provide. When we think about the production side, we, we are concerned with who does what kinds of jobs, how many people uh, are employed in manufacturing and how many people are employed, employed in agriculture or, ag or education or the various uh, sectors of the economy. Uh, we are concerned with what methods of production we use to produce various goods and services. Do we use more people or do we use more machines? On the consumption side, we decide who gets to consume what. We, we, uh, do we allocate everything evenly or, or do uh, some people get to consume more than others? And, and how do we make those kinds of decisions? Scarcity is an important concept in economics and it, it essentially is just the realization that we don't have enough of everything to satisfy all of the different things that we might want to do. Our resources are scarce. We've got a finite level of, of uh, resources that we can use in production, a finite level of, of say oil in the ground or good farmland or uh, precious metals or uh, people even to, to uh, to use that their labor in producing goods and services. There's a finite level of, of things that we can do. At the same time, we have unlimited wants. There's a, there's a seemingly endless list of things that we might like more of. And it, it's, in fact, difficult to conceive of things that, uh, that we wouldn't like a little bit more of to go around. Fundamentally, this brings about the notion of trade-offs, that, that economics is about the choices we make and the trade-offs that we face. When we devote a resource to the production of one particular thing, we usually can't devote it to the production of something else. For instance, if I want to build a parking lot in a particular piece of land, I can't also use that same land as a cornfield and a soybean field and a wheat field. I, I, when I devote a resource to the production of some good, I use it for that good, and that's what we're constrained to. The same thing is also generally true about consumption. If I have a hamburger and eat my hamburger, it's not likely you're going to be able to enjoy eating that same hamburger. 